Hello there, Mark Major at the Action Figure Atorium, and as you know, I am a real big collector of toys. I also like to do customizing, repainting, kit bashing, that kind of thing. And one of the places that I go to a lot is the dollar store. And I have quite a few videos where I just do roundups of the things I found at the dollar store which may include toys to paints to craft materials that you can use for your dioramas and your scenes and sets. Um, today I'm going to be looking at a variety of accessory packs you can get for a buck twenty-five that give you things like guns and <clears throat> more guns and it looks like there's some guns in here too. So um, I'm going to do more than just actually go through and show you the stuff that they're offering these days, we're going to actually paint these up and make them look cool. So stick around. We are at the bench, as I like to call it. And um, first pack that I'm gonna show you is called long range it's supposed to go with uh, a character i think whose name is scope anyways if you look at what's on the back of this they they say things like deadly sniper rifle battle rifle um, mid-range rifle um, some type of a uh, um, fires plasma rounds gun and a pack so there's that stuff um, this is the heavy arms pack that you can currently get at the dollar tree and this has got <clears throat> This, by the way, had four guns in a pack. That's five items for a buck twenty-five. That is twenty-five cents an item. Here we have five items. They're all these sort of weirdo guns: um, rocket launcher, assault rifle, grenade launcher, um, railgun shoots lasers, and uh, Gatling gun. All in one pack. That's twenty-five cents each. Then look at this. This is the covert ops pack, guys. This is. Um, this is cool. You get three sort of like Blade Runner looking pistols. There's a helmet. There's some kind of a Boba Fett rocket pack. There's some kind of a, could be a ninja star, but it also could just be like piece to a sprinkler. Um, there's like kind of a K-bar knife. Then you've got this. Have you ever seen this before? A, like a drone? Does anybody have an actual like little, f you know, drone thing? And then I guess this is a hoverboard, but you know, what's it take to make a hoverboard? Um, something else that I have <clears throat> from there as well. This is um, called the Dragonfly Kit. It's a helmet, piece of armor, and then this goes on the back. Now, this whole thing only works with one specific guy that they sell whose name is Steel. And um, I've tried actually putting this on regular 4-inch guys. And if you mod it, you could make it work where you could attach this somehow to the uh, arms. But I figured I would actually pick up the Steel guy and uh, and put it on him and see if maybe we can't just make him work. Um, not the best particular name, I think. It makes me think of robbing and stealing. So um, whatever, we'll move on from that. But for now, we're gonna open some packs of toys and, uh, and we're gonna paint these guys up. We now have my uh, guns and accessories painted with the um, gunmetal metallic gray and while those are drying let's take a look at steel and he's got this cool dragonfly rig and there's a little post in the back that fits into the hole in the back of his uh, of his back there that they've drilled out and the connection is terrible it is not very good it does not mate at all <clears throat> there is a kind of a one piece um, kind of rubbery dragonfly esque scissors looking accessory that came with him and this piece actually fits in the back really well so just the dragonfly getup that comes with the guy looks good. Um, this is with the uh, the helmet fits on him really well, and the armor fits on him really well. But this separate accessory pack does not. So we're probably going to have to maybe 
maybe get something like a drill, etc., to make this work. And if this is something I wanted to put on another 1 18th scale action figure, um, maybe I would work something out to where this pack attaches to the body armor. So you don't have to plug it into a character. You just uh, attach the armor and, um, and the Dragonfly rocket pack on the back of it. And that might be kind of cool. But otherwise, to make this guy work, we're going to have to get out some tools. So, uh, the next phase is that I'm going to add just a little bit, as soon as this dries, a little bit of um, oak brown, uh, I think is what I'm going to use. Maybe the lighter brown, monster brown, I don't know. But we're going to go and we're going to do a little dab on the handles. And when that's all dry, um, we're going to put a wash on and we're going to check these out. So, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so I've done a little bit of brown on the handles, and I put a wash on the guns. And so, these weapons I'm showing you, these came from the dollar store. And uh, let's kind of check these out, sort of close up here. I've got my World War II figures holding them, so you can kind of see sort of what you get if you uh, just buy like some gunmetal gray and some wash you can make these things look pretty good pretty good overall um, of course there's going to be some that are uh, a little better than some of the others you know that's just kind of the way it goes the uh, drone is actually kind of cool um, I didn't know that anyone actually made <laughs> something like that. Uh, the backpack, I don't know what that could go into, but, uh, you know, I threw some silver on it, some brown kind of thing, or some rocket pack, and there's like a weird hoverboard kind of thing. Now, the, um, <clears throat> the figure with the dragonfly... I finally worked on it and hammered in the peg to the hole and uh, eventually it kind of stays but I would recommend if you want to use this guy you should probably get some glue like some Elmer's glue you know some white glue some Mod Podge and uh, just kind of glue it together to make it sort of tacky don't use like a um, you know you don't have to use like a model glue or you know something like that super glue but this guy's not bad and I think if you painted this up you could probably put him somewhere in your military now I currently have a thing going on where I'm doing a sort of a Star Wars World War II crossover that ends up giving me kind of a diesel punk sort of look and um, and this guy I think is gonna get painted up and and he's gonna go in the ranks ranks of the World War II diesel punkers. That concludes this sort of look at Dollar Tree accessory packs of weapons and um, other sort of gadgets, tech gadgets, etc. Not bad. A buck twenty-five for five guns and a little smidge of paint on them and they look pretty fantastic and um, although they are modern futuristic I think they have a spot and um, in some cases, some of them are big enough to where they might bust out of their 118th scale and go 112th. Who knows? So, with that, I think uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who made it this far in the video. And um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.